wish I was a grown up already. Do you? There's so much to learn in becoming a grown up. I hate waiting. Can't you hold just make me grow up faster? Good things take time to grow. Jehovah made us to live forever. He put eternity in our hearts. August. Take a look at these trees. They were already big when your mom and I were your age. But the stream is watering them, making them grow stronger and taller. I know you want to grow up, and you'll get there. Just walk with Jehovah and enjoy the journey. Dad. Dad. Have you seen my ball? Thanks. Okay. Okay. Growing up, August felt like he didn't have any friends in the congregation. But recently, he's been using his time to cultivate a friendship with Ben. Hey, Ben. Good kid, new to the congregation. I can't shake the feeling things have been tough for him at home for a long time. They've got a great group of friends. Harlan, Chantel, and Mallory. She's applied for SKE a number of times, but hasn't been invited yet. Funny, it can be so easy to size up everybody else's life except your own. It's been years since I've lost my privileges. Brothers, I completely understand the decision. And I, I fully support it. Savior, we know that you can serve again someday. Will I ever be useful again? We've just been watching a dramatization from the first symposium of the 2023 Exercise Patience Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. The symposium has the theme, there is an appointed time for everything. And this particular dramatization is encouraging Jehovah's Witnesses to show patience in the area of ambition and privileges and also later on we're going to see dealing with anger but you can see there this weird focus on Jehovah's Witnesses extending themselves within the organization and reaching out for privileges. Harlan, Chantel and Mallory. She's applied for SKE a number of times, but hasn't been invited yet. Oh dear, Mallory has applied for SKE a number of times, but hasn't been accepted yet. So this, for me, illustrates just how lacking in self-awareness the organisation is, considering the fact that they are expecting to have non-Jehovah's Witnesses in the audience buying into the idea that they're attending some kind of generic self-help seminar on cultivating patience. It's not about being patient regarding the end of the world and wanting Armageddon to come. It's just a generic being patient when you're waiting in line at the store, <laughs> being patient when you're in traffic, as, as Mark Sanderson said earlier. 
It's just being patient in general. It's nothing specific about Jehovah's Witness and time doomsday beliefs. They've promoted this convention to people who don't have the foggiest idea what SKE is, so that people will be sat in the audience scratching their heads thinking, I don't understand what SKE is. It must be something really, really important or significant or relevant for them to be dedicating this glossy, well-produced dramatization to a character who's struggling to get in. There's nothing unique about it. It's just a training course that goes on for a number of weeks that makes you more useful to the Jehovah's Witness organization. That's all it is. But because they're almost running out of ideas here, <laughs> we've reached the point where in successive conventions... They've done dramatizations touching on pretty much everything you could possibly consider in the sphere of Jehovah's Witness culture, including last year infighting among elders. <laughs> Even that got a number of dramatizations. They're just scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. So this particular dramatization is focusing at least in part on frustrations over not getting privileges or losing privileges, as in the case of Xavier, who is narrating. He is an elder who was deleted or had to stand down, and it's clearly a source of great pain for him, poor thing. He doesn't get to have a position of authority in his local congregation. Again, just not relevant. Not It's not the sort of thing you make dramatizations about or produce glossy films or TV series about, but it's important to Jehovah's Witnesses, so we all have to sit through this. But for me, probably the most triggering part was that conversation between Xavier and his son, August, when August was still a child. I know you want to grow up, and you'll get there. Just walk with Jehovah and enjoy the journey. Just walk with Jehovah and enjoy the journey. Because if you don't, I may be forced to shun you <laughs> at some future point. That's what it all boils down to, isn't it? What choice will August realistically have when he grows up other than to walk with Jehovah if he wants to have a relationship with his father? Mm -hmm.